everybody, Ralph Havens here, and just about to go for a run. And for some reason, I decided to come up to Whatcom Falls Park, which is um, very close to where we used to live when we first moved into town. It's beautiful, and it's it's our center, it's our little jewel of the city here in Bellingham. There's lots of parks, and I'm not sure why I'm here. I thought maybe I'm going to see my friend who lives close by walking his dog, or who knows what. But I woke up kind of sad, and it just kind of stuck with me throughout the um, the morning. And I think it's because we went hanging out with, um, not hanging out, um, visiting some of our friends this um, last night because of Halloween. And the kids had little costumes, but, um, but so many of the parents were in such fear. You know, they think they're doing the right thing and they're, they're wanting the kids to stay apart and they're telling them to stay apart. And some of them had masks on and, and it just made me sad. And... You know, back when we first moved here in 2013, we um, we didn't know um, a lot of the stuff that we know now. And, and I had been, um, my whole life has been dedicated to helping people get over autoimmune conditions and health conditions and pain conditions and, and helping people heal. And it's been part of my journey. I mean, I am the product of my own product. I've gotten my health back and got Jen's health back. And there's people in our family that are doing really well that wouldn't have been if we didn't do what we do and by we I mean me and Jen and um and back in 2014 we ended up moving out to the mountain because we were going to be um homesteaders we thought and live on the land and get good water and good food and just kind of live low key and and um and if God didn't have that in our plan for us lots of things that kind of kept pointing us to like nope but one of the things that happened was um, I thought, you know, I don't want to do anything stupid, so I better research. I better research because Ben was uh, two years old, and um, and it's like, you know, we haven't done any vaccines, so I should start to research. So I started researching, and I watched some documentaries, um, Vaccines Revealed and Truth About Vaccines, and and later the movie Vaxxed, and um, they point to lots of research. So I started to um, download the actual peer-reviewed research, and I started reading it, and studying it and I'm comfortable with science and I can very comfortable with reading research and like who funds this study and what kind of study was it and was it a good study did it have a high enough um, cohort enough people in the study and did they use um, um, randomized controlled arms of the study you know there's lots of stuff to look at so I was looking and looking and looking because I thought well we should figure out which ones we're going to use and I started to see stuff that was um, very concerning very concerning because there's no placebos that are used for vaccines. And I'm like, what? And then I saw the 1986 Vaccine Act. And I'm like, you mean you can't sue a vaccine company if they kill somebody? And there's been a fund set up that's a tax that's now just a fund of money. And um, there's been $4.3 billion paid out to people that have had children who have died or get, gotten very injured from vaccines. And so I was like, whoa, let me stop a minute. Let me start to look. And, you know, this might get taken down as false information, but this is my experience. You know, this is my experience. I started reading a lot of research. And so for the past, I'd say three years, maybe four years, Jen and I have been um, reading and looking through and, and researching um, science. We've been reading scientific studies. We've been um, looking at books from journalists and lawyers and doctors and scientists and then going to their research and re reading through their research and what they found and the meta studies on stuff and you know all the big randomized controlled studies and looked at the studies that were done to um to approve vaccines and then read the product inserts that are wrapped around every single vaccine and so we did a lot of research and every week jen does about two hours and i do about two hours of research to look into this look at the actual research and and I think what saddens me is very smart people are not looking at the research. They're reading headlines and maybe a couple of articles and um, that's about it. And so, um, so it just saddened me because some of the stuff we're seeing is really disturbing. So I don't have a good solution for that. I don't know how to reach people to get them to read science and to, you know, I saw a, I passed a sign that said, um, science is real. 
And I'm like, what the, what does that even mean? You know, read science. There's science that says this, there's science that says that. It's kind of good to read it yourself. So that's my call to action today is to um, this kind of stuff, you know, if you've got buttons around this, if you wonder about this, if you've got very strong viewpoints about vaccines or the lockdown or what's going on in um, health care and the health department rules and what they're saying to do, um, you know, the governors and stuff. One thing you might want to do is just read the science yourself and just see what it says and um, and study it. So that's my um, call to action. Uh, let's get out there and live, right? Let's live. Let's really live and, and read it for yourself. Let's make up our own minds and heal yourself and heal the world. All right, you guys, time for a run.